Hey, I- it's going pretty well. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Uh, you hearing the thunderstorms out there? Yeah. <laughs> I just, it just started about, what, about half an hour ago or so. Yeah, I just heard it on my end just moments ago. I'm at the Bryan Station area. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, we, we, we're hearing it out here. Um, yeah. So it's maybe it's just a sign that, you know, the summer's starting to wind down just a bit and going to cool down. Uh, on this holiday, I guess I don't know. I don't know that I'm ready, but yeah, you know, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, uh, you know, the, the the funny thing about people wanting this uh, summer season to end is that I'm I'm on my Facebook every day, and I'm scrolling down my feed, and I see a lot of people having countdowns to Christmas. I'm like, of Christmas, like, already? Yeah, right. People got the little countdown thing. I'm like. We just getting to the end of summer. <laughs> like, can y'all right. can y'all pump the break? I look, I'm full of holiday spirit, you know, but 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 not right now. Not in late August, early September. But right. that's just me, I guess. So I've heard of you um, for quite some time now. Um, I actually heard of y'all through a mutual friend that we have and he happens to be a local hero of mine uh the one and only divine karama um Uh, i love that dude he's like he's like my brother i love divine so so shout out i've known him for a long time um you know in a life there's there's, uh you're blessed sometimes to get people that are just consistently themselves if you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like sometimes things change people change over time but Divine has been consistent with him, always supportive, you know, always passionate about everything that he does, but he's always supported me um, and my siblings and everything that we do. Um, we do Mary Campbell Christmas, which is a benefit concert every year around Christmas time, and he's always been so supportive. And, you know, when I first started Red Camp Band, he's like, he's just been in my corner from day one. So even before I started the band, he just always was um, – just supportive, always had encouraging words for me, and just always pushed me. So I, I really, I love Divine, every, you know, everything he stands for, and um, I just really appreciate um, his friendship. He's, he's more like family to us now. Yeah, definitely shout out to Divine Kawama for what he does musically and what he does for the community here in Lexington. Like, even when... You know, one thing leads to another. He's always active. He's always doing shows. He's done um, R&B shows, hip-hop shows, and he's benefit shows. You know, believe, mm-hmm. believing in forever. Um, he's just done so much for the community. And uh, as a federal Lexingtonian, I've lived in this city for most of my life. Um, and you know, I've just now been act. I've been part of local music for like four to five years now, so I'm just getting familiar with a lot of familiar faces. And the De- divine's one of support, continue to support the dude and what he does. Um, you know, he still can rap, he still got bars, he's one of my favorite rappers. Um, you know, but he's got a bigger cause. Um, with his mm-hmm. believing in forever, uh, so shall shout out to him. Um, as it pertains to your band, Land Camp Band, I've heard of y'all, and a couple of weeks ago, I was on the verge of seeing y'all perform in person for the first time. Um, I bought a ticket for the Jay Holiday concert, which was supposed uh, to be at the Borough. Yeah. And then a day later, I get a notification like the the show's been canceled. Like, what? Like, yeah. Were you able to get your money back? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah, yeah. So, so that was, you know, we were we were excited about it. We were preparing, and it kind of the same thing happened with us. We got 
just a few days before the show, you know, I got an email uh, from the owner of the borough, and they were just saying basically that Jay Holiday wasn't, I guess he wasn't impressed um, by the, the pre-sale tickets, the, the amount of pre-sale tickets that had been sold, and he was concerned, and he decided to not do the show, which I feel some kind of way about because I feel like, I mean, I get it if you haven't had a lot of pre-sale tickets, but you also have to pub. And a lot of people had hadn't known about it. You know, I was going word of mouth. We were telling people. I was sharing it on Facebook. Um, you know, just letting everybody know. So I had a lot of people. We have a wonderful fan base whom I love and appreciate. And a lot of them were coming. Um, so you know how, how we do sometimes. We don't buy our tickets to the last minute. Or we're just like, well, we can pay at the door. You know, so yeah, I guess true. Jay Holiday just, you know, him not knowing the area, he just decided that he wasn't going to come. And some see that as bad business, some don't, you know. I can't really be the judge of that, but it was an unfortunate situation because a lot of people were looking forward to that. They were looking forward to, um, you know, seeing Jay Holiday. They were looking forward to, to us being able to be up there. Um, and just they were looking forward to, like, a, you know, something fun and nice to do on a Sunday evening. But unfortunately, it got canceled they still did something there, but I'm not sure exactly what went on. But, yeah, you know, maybe next time. I still have a lot of love for the world. Um, would have been nice to meet the holiday, but everything happens for a reason, so it's all good. Yeah, true. And, you know, the borough is my <laughs> favorite place as far as live music. So this it's not a knock on them. You know, it's, you know, they're getting word from Jay Holiday and his count, and I guess, you know, the the ticket sales or lack thereof, you know, played a role into him not wanting to, not going to be there at all, you know. Yeah. You know, and who, who's to say that, you know, usually when people cancel shows, they reschedule down the road, who's to say he's going to come back, you know. And yeah. It's unfortunate for local acts like yourselves because, you know, y'all getting an opportunity like that. Opportunities like that don't happen to local artists. So, right. you know, it's, it is an unfortunate situation. Um, but I guess maybe next time. But you never know. Like, you know, he, I feel right. like he's still... Right. Well, until then, we're just going to keep doing what we do. You know, we yeah. have we have some things coming up. Um, mm -hmm. We have, like, three different things coming up this month um, that we're going to be doing. So... You know, if people aren't busy, they can come and catch us. Uh, it will be on the Ray Camp Band page on Facebook. But September 6th, which is this coming Friday, um, we'll be at the night market at 7 o'clock. So they can catch us there. That's a free event. Um, oh, we're also doing on Monday for Labor Day. Mm -hmm. We'll be at Gymtown Day. That's also a free event. So, you know, come... Bring your picnic stuff, you know, your food, lawn chairs. We'll be at Gymtown for their Gymtown Day. That's a free event, and we'll be performing from, like, 6 to 9. So, you know, if you're not busy, you can check us out there. And then on September the 21st, we're very excited. We're going to be doing the Tall Sound Music Festival. And we go on, I think, about 3.30. And that's on Southland Drive, um, September 21st. So, you know, we have some things going on. It's a blessing to be booked, so... You know, we're just we're excited about everything that's been coming our way, and uh, we're excited about you know making music, networking, meeting other people, meeting and getting to hear other bands. So, you know, it's just it's a win-win situation. Very very true. So y'all definitely keep me myself busy with the uh, summer season winding down. We're getting into to the, to the fall um, for. Those that are, may not be familiar with Ray Camp Band, how would you best describe the type of music that y'all do? Are y'all more of an R&B band or a soul <laughs> band or, or, or a blend of both? Yes, I feel like we're a blend. I feel like we're a blend of neo-soul, R&B, jazz fusion. I feel like we're a blend of all of those. So, I mean, you're liable to hear anything. But the thing that I love about my band is, and we do have, you know, I do have a few originals, and we're working on more. 
But the thing that I love about Ray Camp Band is the musicians are so talented. And a lot of times we do stuff and, and we create and it's like it's a vibe. So sometimes, you know, we'll create, we'll get our set with stuff done before, you know, we're preparing for a show. But sometimes we get up there and then, like, the vibe just changes and we just go with it. And I feel like those are some of the most um, amazing moments. You know, it's beautiful when you can just kind of create on the spot and it just happens, you know, without even, without you really even trying. So that's one thing I love about this band. Um, we just all kind of really get each other. Um and they know what direction I want to go in creatively. So even though you, it might be a song that you know, they put their own twist on it, and you know they just make it even more amazing. So I'm really, I'm really grateful because I have some talent, very, very talented musicians. Uh, Doug Ford is my MD, and he plays the keys, and he's crazy talented. Um, Kenneth Payne, super dope on the bass. I mean, he's one of the best in the area. And then I have Tyler, um, um, Tyler Mayfield, and he's my percussionist, and he's a dope drummer, you know. And I think um, sometimes with the younger generation, we don't give them enough credit. But, like, the younger generation of musicians are so hungry, and they're creative. And it's like, put both of those together, you know, you can't, you can't go anywhere but up. So I'm just excited. I'm excited about um, all of the musicians for real. And then my sound tech that goes with me, Cameron Fogel. So, you know, my, my support team is, is strong, you know, and the band is strong. And we're like, we're really like a family. And uh, so I just, I really feel blessed to, to have who I have in the band. I definitely love the energy um, about your band. Very, I've heard a lot of good things about the band and... One of these days, I'm going to check y'all out. And with the show, I hope you can check us out. I hope you can, like, you know, it, once you get done with the cookout on, on Monday, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, but most people will probably cook out, like, tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. when, you know, once you chilled or whatever, just come out. Even if you can't stay till 9, I know people got to go work and stuff in the morning. Just come out for an hour and a half or two hours, you know, and just, just kick it with us, vibe out with us. Um, on Monday. If not, then meet us on Friday, September 6th at 7 at the night market. That's a free event. Um, it doesn't cost anything, you know, to go. They'll have vendors. Well, they'll have things for sale. You can support local. And, you know, we love for you to support us. We're local. And, you know, and just, um, just hear what we have to give the community because it's all about, you know, love and light, positive energy, and just changing the atmosphere through music. So, I'm I'm really excited about that. Very very true. So, um, Way Camp Band, Way Camp Band got a lot of shows coming up. Go check them out. Uh, Labor Day, they gonna they got a show for you all. Um, and I know a lot of people gonna be off of work for the most part. So just uh, whatever the cookout or whatever your plans may be. Stop by, enjoy yourself some um, some local music, courtesy of Way Camp Band. Busy week for them this week with starts on Labor Day, and then they got a show on this coming Friday as well. Uh, before I let you go, Way, um, how would you describe? Well, better yet, who do you consider your musical influences? People that inspire <laughs> you uh, musically. <laughs> Um, man, musical influences. I would have to say my two greatest musical influences are my mom and dad. They're both amazing singers, and, you know, they they grew up friends for a very long time. They were in a band together. You know, my dad can sing. Um, he played trumpet, played piano. My mom, I think my mom played violin or something. I know she played something. <laughs> but, you know, they both sing, and they have beautiful voices. Um. And we were raised in church where all of their children, there's four of us, we all played instruments, and we were all sing. Um, but, you know, they would, they introduced me to all different types of music where, you know, on any, at any, any given time it could go from gospel to, um, you know, I love, like, 70s, like, bands, like Earth, Wind & Fire, Cool in the Gang, Tower of Power. Those are people I really, really love. 
you know, that I would listen to from, like, my parents' era, um, along with, like, Natalie Cole with the Vandross, um, Freddie Jackson, just some of the greats. But I also, you know, being with my grandparents, I would listen to, like, jazz, big band, classical. So I just was, I feel like I was very, a very well-rounded type of kid when it came to, like, my exposure to different types of music, different genres. And I just really fell in love with all of them. So I think that just kind of shaped me into who I am. I even like some country. You know, like, it just kind of made me, it's to the point where I can sing anything because I've kind of studied everything, you know what I'm saying? And you can take, like, the best parts of each thing and put it together. And I just kind of feel like that's who I am musically. I definitely respect how versatile you are with your influences and, you know, just... It's not going to lie smoothie, you know. You know, so it's <laughs> old school, new school, you know, yes. s- stirring it up and everything. And uh, Yeah, I, I don't even mention the new school, but I, I love a lot of the new school artists. You know, and you like people that are kind of like um, big names in the old soul, of course, that you know. You know, like Eric, somebody with Joe Scott, music soul child, those people, but also people that, everybody may not know, you know what I'm saying, like, I love, like, Eric Roberson, um, I really, I really love everybody, <laughs> um, I try to, I listen to so much music, um, I just try to study, just, like, I, lo- I love to, like, study an album, I listen and listen and listen and listen, really tired, get tired of it, and I won't listen for a few days and I'll listen again, because there's just something about when you study the art. I love like I love Snarky Puppy. They're actually going to be like in in Covington on September 11th, and I plan to go. They're one of the best bands, and I love Mint Condition. You know, I feel like it's the best of both worlds. You have like R&B, neo soul, but you have a really dope band, band and really dope instrumentation. So, you know, I just um, I love that kind of that fusion. You know, where you can kind of mix things together and create something really good. Way, it was great chatting with you. Um, thank you so much for calling in. Um, thank and, you for having and, me. Um, and I look forward to seeing your band in person uh, at some point. And um, thank you for weather the quote unquote thunderstorm that we had earlier. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. No problem. So, no problem. <laughs> so, anytime. Thank you for, for giving me time. Uh, just to come on here and share. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for the support, and I look forward to, to actually meeting you, seeing you, and hearing what you think about the van. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend, and uh, we'll, we'll see each other soon. Thank you, you too. Take uh, care.